Hiya, it's Al from Red Hulls Board Gaming. I'm here today with a bit of a weird one. Um, obviously, all the cards have dropped for Warcry, and I thought you might be of interest to some people. Um, I've got here the Stonecast Eternal Warrior Chamber. Um, that's a card. You can, uh, you've got Liberators, Prosecutors, Judicators, and Paladins. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming people who play at Stonecast know the difference between them all. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a flip through each card. Um, and just, I don't know, just talk crap for 20 minutes. Right, without further ado, this is a Liberator. I only got two attacks, two four, just don't look at that. Two four, 185 points, 20 wounds, and he's got a toughness six. I, mean, I think toughness means bugger all, to be honest, personally. But he's got a strength five. Mm hmm. Yeah, 185 points, right. Another Liberator. It's the one with the sword. Uh, exactly the same points, 185 points. 2-4 uh, damage. Uh, he's got three attacks, though. Uh, strength, four. That's the only difference. Again, yeah, 185 points is a bit deal, right, I think. 20 wounds. 20 wounds ain't bad, I suppose. Right, this, uh, this is your Liberator Prime. I think. Uh, he's the one with a hammer. Um, he's considerably more. He's got 30 wounds though. Toughness 6. Uh, strength 5. 3 attacks. Again, 2 4. Them 2 4s are not bad for um, your crits. Not bad at all, that. 245 points. You're not going to get many in 1,000 points, are you, really? Right, this is the Liberator Prime with um, a sword. Uh, same, 245 points. Again, it's just one extra attack. But it's... Uh, lovely colour, is that? I like that one. Smart. Right, this one is a, um, a Liberator, but it's the one with the twin hammers. So he, he gets three attacks at strength five. He's probably more... One I'd more likely take. I know he's only got toughness five, but I think toughness five, toughness six... It doesn't mean anything because you're still rolling. You still need a five anyway. So five or six is irrelevant. Uh, he gets three attacks. He's strength five. Do you know what it is? I'd probably look at two hammers as opposed to a uh, hammer and shield. Three attacks. Strength five, two, four. 170 points. So he's less as well. Is he less? Yeah. 15 points less. Um, one with the sword. Lower strength. Four attacks. Again, 170 points. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. Right. This is one that liberates with a grand blade, I think it's called, I do believe. It's an extra 15 points. You get four attacks. It's only strength four, but it's a three five, is that one? I'll tell you what, it's just not, that's not bad at all, that. I think in, in Age of Sigmar, I do think people don't take a lot of them grand blades. I don't know why, because they're cool. Look at that pose, that's awesome. Four attacks, strength four, three, five, 185 points. Not bad at all, that. And this is the last one of the Liberators. Just put that down for a minute. He's got a grand hammer. Now, that, that's probably one of my favourite models in, in um, Age of Sigmar, is that, for my uh, Stormcast. Uh, 185 points, three attacks, strength five, three, five. So again, I mean, if you're going to do a list, let's have a look. Which prime would you have? Let's have a look. Right, I'd probably go with... There's not a lot in it for them two. Extra attack. I'd probably go with that just because I like hammers. And I'm sad. Um, that grand blade's good. Do you know how I'm going to... You see, if you're going to do a... What are we talking there? 185, 36, 370... 570, 6, 15, 6, 15, 7, 800 points there, 1,000 points-ish, I'm not very good at counting, but ish, and you've got yourself there, I mean, you could have a couple of liberators with hammers, maybe, you know, have another uh, grand hammer, or you could have them all with swords and, and chop and change, oh no, I was saying not to bother then, didn't I, should I bother it, right, they're the ones I, I think we should have, them. 
because you get an extra attack there. You get an extra attack. Again, the hammers are strength 5, 2, 4. And the sword, you're getting 4 attacks at strength 4. So I'd probably look at, what we're on there, 340, 340, 585, 585, 685, 767, 70, 870. Uh, probably about nine, nine six five, which isn't, but you're only getting five models. See, so yeah, I run a Vanguard list, and I've got five models in that five stone casting that. But I've had to put a bird in just to try and boost the points up. And, and let's face it, the birds are pretty shite in that. They're good at taking objectives and stuff, but they're pretty average. So yeah, that's probably what I'd, I'd run. No doubt, one you know, some of you look and go, that shit. I'll, I'll do this. But each their own, each their own. Anyway, yeah, speed four. 20 wounds for normal guys, 30 wounds for other guys. Not bad at all. Yeah. Speed four is not bad. I think it's fairly average, isn't it? Right, so let's have a look at the judicators. Judicators. I've I, run judicators but I only run the ones with the balls let's put them by there right so these are uh, these are movement 4 average guys 20 wounds toughness 5 185 points again 185 seems a bit average for a stone castle isn't it uh, when they're shooting the shooting is 2-4 they get 3 shots at strength 4 uh, but when they're hitting you with the daggery things 3 attacks strength 4 1-4 one four. again it's not bad but that shooting is a 320. So they've got a little bit more range than the Vanguard ones, I do believe. The Vanguard crossbows. Right, so that's that. Cool model. Then. Right, these are the uh, the big crossbows that they have. Let's have a look. Oof. Dira points. Let's have a look. I'll show you that. 190 point. Its range is only 310. It's got four attacks, strength four, two, four. I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling to see why one would be more expensive. You're getting one extra attack, but you're losing 10 inch range. Again, anybody, anybody know why? Because you certainly won't take that, would you? For one extra attack. Right. I'm obviously missing some of here. This is the guy. Oh, this is one with the um, the big arrow, like the killer arrow. Right, he's a 320. 205 points. So he's got three attacks, strength five, and it does 2-6. But 205 points. Yeah, them balls are, them balls are sticking out to me. Right, the crossbow, shooty, crossbow, death killer thing. Which is probably not what it's called. That's that. That's 200 points, so it's less. How's that work? I don't know how they work the points here. Right, um, it's got better range. It's a, oh. Hmm. Randomly enough, the heavy crossbow is a 615 range. Five attacks, which ain't bad. Strength four, it's only two four damage. Yeah. That's a little bit strange, isn't it? It's got exactly the same damage as the other one, but it's just got one more attack. You've got to be further away than six inch, but it can shoot 15 inch. Hmm. Not sure of them. Not sure of them. Right, this is a, uh, a Judicator Prime with a bow. Um, three to twenty, three attack. Yeah, well, yeah, it's the same. It's the same, obviously, as the other. But he's two hundred and thirty-five points. Um, I'm assuming when we when we go to it, the um, special abilities will probably make him stand out a little bit more. But his damage is only two four. And this is your uh, Judicator Prime with the crossbow. Models look awesome, but three ten. Four, four, two, four. Yeah, there's gonna have to be some. There's gonna have to be some amazing thing that they, that the leaders can do because he's two hundred and forty points. Is that lad? 
that's that's 50 points more than a, a standard one and they've got pretty much apart from obviously an extra 10 wounds identical stats hmm do you know what it is i do like doing the age of sigmar and just run a ball list if i was going to do that if you know you're going for a fluffy shooty list i'd just run a ball list but again everybody's got their own opinion don't they i don't know i don't understand the heavy crossbow why it's a 615 because that's a bit hmm a bit harsh is that and only and only doing two four damage as well I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's the Judicators. Let's have a look. See how I've done that. If I'm going to have that, I'd have. Um, maybe a couple of them. A couple of them. So there's 440 points there. 440. So maybe three of them. Two of them. Or maybe two of them. Two of them. Who knows? Hmm. Interesting. Right. Now, these are my favourites. These are my favourites. I don't know if they've got them in here. Yeah, they have. Right. We're on the Paladins now. Right. These are the ones with the spears. Right. Speed is only three. Let's just show you a card. Sp speed is only three. Uh, it's got a three inch reach, it's got three attacks, strength four, and it's three five. Do you know what it is? And it's 190 points, that's not bad at all. That toughness six as well. That's, it's only speed that's letting them down. They're ace in Age of Sigmar as well for killing monsters. Ace. Right, this is uh, one of the primed, the Spear Prime. For the paladins, uh, he has got. It's got exactly the same stats. Oh no, he's got an extra. He's got an extra attack. He's got an extra attack. Obviously, an extra ten wounds, and it's two hundred and fifty points. Again, it's strength. It's it's movement three, which is a bit bit pants. Four attacks at strength four. Three five's not bad. Not bad at all. I do like them. Range, Range three's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, these are the axes. This is a regular guy with the axes. Right, he's got a range of two. He's got three attacks, strength four. His damage is three six, so he actually does more damage than the staves on a, on a crit, of course. Um, mm -hmm. And he's 195 points, so it's five points more for doing one extra crit. And it's not got as much range, it's only got a two-inch range. So I don't know that's again. We'll check out what the uh, special rule is for them. Right, this is the uh, the prime with an axe. That's him. Prime with an axe. Um exactly the same stats. He's got an extra attack. He's got an extra ten wounds, obviously. Uh but he's 255 points. Quite expensive that. Quite expensive. Right, and these are the ones with the hammers. These are these are probably my favourites of these. Uh, I love these. Right, that's him. And this is uh, 195 points again. Movement three. Um, damage is three five. It's only got one range, which I don't quite understand with that big handed after damage jobby. It's got three attacks, strength five, three five. Yeah, it's not to be stiffed out, I suppose. 3 five, but it's the same as the um, staves. 195 points. I mean, you're getting 3 inch range with the staves. So I don't know. Uh, staves or whatever they're called. Spears. Right, this is the prime. Exactly the same. Again, one more attack. 10 more damage. Mmm, 255 points for that. It's just that speed that's, that's a bit uh, not very nice. Right, these are the souls. Soul Storm Maces, Soul Star Maces. What we do, what we call these at our club, and I'll, I might need to um, edit this. We call them the Cuntammers, because they're not to uh, date things and smash them. Smash them dead. Oof, and they still hit things and smash them dead, right? It's only got a range of one. It's got three attacks, strength five, but it's four eight. So it's, it's Ogre, Ogre damage. 
four eight strength five and he's got toughness six 20 wounds 225 points but you know you'd expect that for someone hitting that hard and it's got three attacks which is quite nice because obviously your people like your ogres you only get two attacks and well the, i mean the new ones might not but uh, the ogre breacher only has two attacks at, at that four eight oh that's nice that yeah do you know what? I don't know how to do with that one. I don't know how to do it. Hmm. Maybe. I'd, I'd... <sighs> oh, I don't know how to do that, to be honest. Because that would be quite a difficult one, that. It's 195. So it's 250, 200. 450 for them two. 450. 775. You're only going to get four models on them for them boys, but let's face it, they ain't going anywhere. Not with toughness six. Not with toughness six, 20 wounds. I mean, four four guys, you're talking, what, 90 wounds? 90 wounds ain't bad. And a beautiful model. Right, last. The prosecutors, the flying dudes. Right, this is the first one. He's the one with the twin hammers. I wonder if he can still throw them. Oh, they can. Right. Oh. Right. So he's got a movement of 10. He's got a toughness of 5, which is standard amongst them. Right. If he whizzes his hammers, he gets 3 dice, strength 4, 2 4 damage. But that's only range 3 to 8. And if he goes in close combat like, like most Stormcast, it's 4 dice, strength 4, 2 4. So. 230 points is quite quite steep really but hmm having two two different attacks is pretty good as well and you've got a threat range of 18 inch there aren't you really yeah I mean obviously you chop and change between all these so you could have a one or two of them right this is the uh, the prime the twin hammers uh, exactly the same stats he's got one more extra attack in close combat Shooting's exactly the same. Uh, obviously, 30 wounds. Movement, 10. But it's 280 points. That's a serious, serious amount of points, is that? So, whew, you're not going to have many if you're going to run one of these lists. Right, so this is the one with the trident. Again, this is a beautiful model, is this? This is the one with the trident, right? He's got 3-8 uh, again. He's only rolling two dice. Huh. Strength, 4, but he's doing a little bit more damage. He's doing 3-5. And, he, and he's also doing 3-5 in, in close combat. So, yeah, yeah. He might be a bit digging that for what it is. Um, this is the one with the spear. Um, he's doing 2-5. Oh, they've got it a little bit random now. 250 points, this one. Uh, he's got a 2-inch reach. Oh, sorry, the Trident's got 2-inch reach as well. Mm -hmm. 3 attack, strength 4, 2-5. But that's 3-5. Hmm. Okay. Right, this is the one with the Grand Hammer. Righty, same again. This is 230 points, so it's quite considerably less. Obviously, he doesn't throw this. Uh, so it's only got so you're, basically you're paying for your, you're paying for your th range attack, aren't you? I suppose and it's three five damage. Yeah, you're paying for your range attack there. Right, this is the one with the grand blade. Uh, he gets four attacks. Strength four three five. So it's it's obviously less strength, but you're getting an extra attack. And that's exactly the same points. As the, uh, as the other one with the hammer. Um, hmm. So one's got three attacks at strength five and the other's got four attacks at strength four. I think nine times out of ten you'd be probably better going for four attacks at strength four. Right, this is the one with the grand axe. Oh, that's a nice one. Beautiful. Right, the grand axe. Ooh, it's only got a range of one. Unfortunately, he's got three attacks, strength four, but he does three six with that one. Wonder where they get the points from. There they work it. I wonder. 
So that's him. So he's he's five points less than the one with the sword, but he gets one less attack. But he does one more damage in crits. Don't know why. Don't know why. Right, so this is the... Do we not have any primes in here? Oh yeah, that's a prime, isn't it? I've said him already, haven't I? Right, um, this is a prosecutor. Can't remember the bloody names there. Prosecutor with a hammer and shield. Right, so he's got toughness six. Still still ten move. Um, his stats are identical to the prosecutor. Oh no, it's not, no. Tell a lie, he's only got two attacks throwing, obviously. And three attacks in close combat. So he's there. And he's he's actually more. You're paying more points for higher toughness. I don't think it's worth it personally. Once you get to like I say, once you get into fives and sixes, it's pointless. Right, so this guy is a uh, prime. Ooh, flipping Nick is there. He's a prime with a spear. Or a lance. Might be called a lance, possibly. Right, he's 300 points. 300 points, 30 wounds. He throws his spear. He does 2-5. Two, 2 die, strength 4. 4 die, strength 4 in close combat. But he's got a 2-inch range. I tell you what it is, they must have some good stats for what they can do. Uh, good stats, good um, special abilities. Because that is expensive, that, for, for one guy. Anyway. They have got mover 10. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't even like to start making a list. Just purely your flying boys. You're definitely only going to get four. Definitely. Anyway, shall we have a look at the uh, special abilities? Right, your standard special ability that everybody can have is, on a double is a Furious Avengers. A fighter can use this ability only if there is another friendly fighter within six inch within, with this fighter with one or more damage points allocated to them. This fighter makes a bonus move action. Meh. Yeah, yeah, not bad, I suppose. Not bad. Uh, right, next one. This one... Who can have it? Let's have a look. See, just bear with me a second. Let's see who can have this. There's a lot of these, you know. Don't have any special abilities. There. Right, the ones with the twin swords is Lelo the Tyrant, which is one they can... Lelo the Tyrant. Some of the Liberators can have it, I'm sure. Is anybody else? Anybody else? Can't see any of them. Lelo the Tyrant. Until the end of the fight, this fighter's activation add two to the attack's characteristics and strength characteristics and attack action made by this fighter that have a range of three or less that target an enemy fighter with wound characteristics of 15 or more <sighs> that is good is that that is good for a double I mean that'd give that'd give that guy 170 point guy that'd give him six attacks at strength six that's flipping awesome is that for a double right uh, a lot of these were the shields have um, one of their doubles is called Sigma Right Shield Bash. Until the end of this fighter's activation, the next time this fighter finishes a move action within one inch of an enemy, pick an invisible enemy type fighter within one inch of this fighter and roll a dice. On a three to four, allocate one point of damage. On a five to six, allocate the number of damage points of that fighter equal to the value of this ability. Again, for a double, it's not bad. If you roll, you know, if you're rolling fives and sixes, um, that's quite impressive. That really. Right, this is the leader one. This is the leader one, right. Um, and it's a triple. It's called Storage Defender. Excuse me, push my glasses back on. Storage Defender. Until the end of the battle round, add one to the toughness characteristics of friendly fighters while they are within six inch of this fighter. Do you know what it is? No. Not impressed at all with that. Because again, even if you're toughness seven, it doesn't mean bugger all. You still... Your opponent, even if they're strength three, is still going to have to roll a five or six. So, no. I don't like that one. People, me, you know, people, tell me what you think. But I, I don't like it. It's a bit in a long place, yeah. Right, uh, triple uh, with the flying ones. Wings of Divine Life. Add the value of this ability to the move characteristics of this fighter for the next move action they make. 
Again, they move 10 anyway. They move 10 anyway. Mm, for a triple, it's it's a bit... No. No, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. I don't know. Seems a bit dear, dear, dear that for what it is. I'd have thought that may be a double, not a triple. Right, last one. With me pulling my face, because uh, triples and de doubles are dear. Uh, quad, earth-shattering blow. Right, I'm assuming this is only ones with big hammers. Let's have a look, see if I'm right. Oh, I'm not, no. Who does a shattering blow? Answers on a postcard. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, he doesn't earth shattering blow. He doesn't earth shattering blow. And he doesn't earth shattering blow. Oh, it's the retributors. A lot of the retro uh, retributors do it. Right, that answers that question. Right, this better be good. Better be good. Earth shattering blow. This fight, it makes a bonus attack action. In addition, add half the value of this ability, rounding up to the damage points eaten by each hit or critical hit from that attack action. Now, that's not bad. Not bad at all, that. Because there's a, there are a few of them where I think you only do it to the crit, not to the normal hit. So that, for them retributors, is, uh, them uh, paladins is flipping awesome. It, it really hard. But it's, again, it's a quad, and how many times you roll a quad? So yeah, I don't think the triple Wings of Life is going to be much use for a triple. Uh, Staunch Defender, I think adding one toughness is just... Pointless. Really pointless. Unless, you know, unless it's stone cast, stone cast game. Where you're both hitting at strength, you know, you're both... Again, you're still going to need fives. Still going to need fives, I don't know. Shield Bash is pretty good. Leyload Tyrant's flipping awesome. So, the birds and the leaders. The leaders are very expensive to what they do, then, aren't they? Hmm. Don't know. Yeah, I'm just looking at this. Yes. Very expensive for what they are. Very expensive to for this. Right, I'll just give you an example. While well, I'm waffling. Give you an example, right. 280 points. And all he, can, all he can do with his special abilities is a triple to make him move faster. Or a qual, uh, or a, a triple to give him plus one toughness. And he's 280 points. And it's 2 4. I know he's got to move a 10. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's the Stonecast Eternal uh, Warrior Chamber. And there are a few others. If people like this, me waffling and whinging, um, we have got all of the other cards. So we can. People put a comment in saying, you know, oh, uh, I'd like to see what. Whatever. Z Zeech, with the uh, demon, do. We'll, we'll crack it open and have a look for you. This is probably the biggest of the packs for cards. I don't think there is any other but as big as this one. Um, because obviously there's quite a lot in the Stormcast. I mean, obviously they've still got other chambers to open, haven't they? And they've still got the wizards and, and, the, uh, and that. So, yeah. So, if you like it, like, subscribe. Um... You see us on a Sunday play Warcry. You see us on a Wednesday cracking stuff open. I'm not sure when we're going to see this. But um, thanks for watching. Cheers.